Hi, my name is Christoph. I'm the founder and CEO at KYC Portal. And today I'm excited to take you through the journey of KYC Portal and also why we chose the category of leadership for the perfect pitch um, this time. We focus a lot on, on the pain points of the due diligence um, industry, so financial markets or any other company that um, goes through the process of due diligence, whether it's regulatory, whether it's um, uh, due to supplier processes. A pain point that is common to all industries and due to various factors. In fact, one of the um, biggest pain points is indeed the concept of everything constantly changing. Changing from a regulatory requirement based on money, money laundering directives, constantly being issued based on internal policy, which is also constantly changing due to the risk that we might perceive as a brand, but also um, uh, the changes due to market happenings. We see clients who constantly tweak the internal process, the internal policy based on market happenings such as COVID, such as in 2016 and 17, the Panama Papers and the Paradox Papers scandals, the leaks, which caused internal havoc in most companies, especially in the financial industry. And this havoc um, is all about the process, the process of what we do internally to collate the right requirements, to ensure that we have the right details, the right documents, the right um, visibility on the clients that we represent or the businesses and the individuals that we liaise with as part of our day-to-day -day process. In fact, all this revolves around risk. That is why we have these policies. That is why companies try to minimize the risk that they are exposed to from a company. Risk that clients might expose us um, when we onboard clients, um, when we have the ongoing relationship with clients. Risks that might tarnish the reputation of our brand. Risks that might lead also, um, especially in the money laundering directives, um, to fines. And this risk, the way most companies handle it, is by throwing more resources at it. Throwing and growing the team of due diligence to be able to cope with the massive demand of work and paperwork that needs to be in place. Not only that, but constantly assessing the risk, assessing the risk of my entire subject base to be able to make sure that I am not in breach and I am not being exposed. And this is a pain point for, for multiple reasons. The increasing cost of due diligence, constantly increasing to a level that sometimes is, is, is very difficult to cope with, especially for small organizations. But the other pain point is the element of risk, not being able to have full visibility of my risk exposure. And this is what led to the birth, to the birth of our idea, of our product, KYC Portal. Back in 2017, we wanted to create a real-time life cycle uh, management system that addresses these pain points, that addresses the constant change and uh, reducing the risk element of due diligence processes. KYC Portal, um, one of the main um, elements, one of the main USPs of the product is focusing on change. In fact, the system, the system is driven by a fully dynamic policy builder. A system that allows the client to be in full control of defining the policy, being able to tweak everything in the configuration, also in real time. This allows the client to be able to set it not only at company level, but even at product or channel or service level, allowing the client to tweak the entire system granular to the risk that they perceive. And this allows them to go through everything from fields to defi defining what data we collect on subjects, what data we expose to the actual clients, the risk engine itself, that the client is in full control of what risk is and what defines risk, the status flows, the questionnaires, and much, much more. A system that allows the client to be able to have full control of the policy, even when it changes due to parameters which are outside of the remit of the company itself. The system then uses this configuration to be able to automate, automate and streamline the back office of the entire company. So the system then uses this policy, uses the data that is being fed into the system by the operators, integration with other systems via the API, to instantly automate the process based on rules, based on rules that are again defined by the client. Triggering what should communicate with what based on the real-time data that is being fed into the system. One of the 
are the biggest pain points in this process of due diligence apart for the aspect of the constant change is the client outreach the constant and endless emails and requests and meetings with subjects to collect the right data when something is triggered and at the right time the system in fact kyc portal has an inbuilt module for what we call customer outreach allowing the bank the institution to give access to the end customer directly to the system through a fully audited process giving access to the customer to conduct face-to-face -face interviews which came really handy over the past years with covid because clients could still operate and onboard um, clients with minimal risk giving the customer the end customer ability to manage the structure their data their flows instantly automating and digitizing the entire process of um, um, onboarding However, all this is governed by the real-time risk assessment engine, a system that is constantly assessing risk based on the real-time data being fed in the system using the policy that the client built into the system to have a minimal exposure on risk. Why? Because the system will alert the team whenever risk um, exposure exists on the day that it happens. So rather than have to re rely on the manual reviews, on the manual processes, to realize that risk happened in the past and you have to act on it retrospectively, the system alerts on the day that it happens. In fact, um, as a process now with the statistics gathered over all our customer base, the system focuses um, on reducing risk, but at the same time, reducing the cost of compliance. We have managed to achieve a threshold of approximately 60% efficiencies across the process of due diligence, all the way from onboarding to the ongoing. <laughs> Nowadays, uh, KYC Portal is sold in over 16 different countries in five different continents. We have from the US to South Africa to Asia and mainland Europe. We sell to different industries, um, industries from crypto to gaming, to financial services, oil and gas logistics. Um, this is what made the product um, uh, so successful, the aspect of being able to configure. And we have over 60 clients who are live across the globe. KYC Portal um, focuses on giving our customers the peace of mind that they can control the risk exposure that they have with reduced cost and increased efficiencies. Thank you for your time. That is KYC Portal.